When Grant Riller walked onto the court of TD Arena as a freshman, he was just excited and humbled that he got the opportunity to keep playing the sport he loved at a higher level. But little did he know that just five short years later, he'd be leaving the College of Charleston basketball program as one of the greatest to ever put on the maroon and gold of the Cougars. The first time I saw him play, I was coaching at Clemson, and uh, we were recruiting his teammate, Kerry Blackshear. We didn't need a guard. You know, every time we would come back to the staff meetings, you know, people say, how was Kerry Blackshear? I say, he was pretty good. Uh, but the, the little guard with the high top fade, you know, a little skinny kid, he's very talented. And, you know, man, he's going to be a great player. The AAU tournament that Earl Grant saw Grant Riller play was the first time that Riller played a tournament outside of Florida. Growing up, basketball was nothing more than a way for Grant to play the game he loved with his friends. I never really thought about college basketball. Uh, growing up, to me, it was just really playing the sport and, and getting to play with all my friends in my town. Uh, but probably around my, my junior year in high school, I played my uh, first time on the circuit, uh, actually leaving Orlando and going to play in front of some scouts. So around that time, I kind of knew it was possible. And then luckily, Charleston called. In 2014, Earl Grant was hired as a new head coach of the Charleston Cougars, and Riller was one of the first players he called to start building his team. Charleston checked all of the boxes for Riller. Great history, coach that he really liked, a friend from Orlando and Joe Cheely. Charleston felt like his home away from home. Riller's start to his college career would have to begin one year later after suffering a season-ending ACL injury during the team's first scrimmage. But every setback comes with its own positives. I came to terms with it kind of easy. Uh, I think part of that was uh, Joe Chile. He tore his Achilles a couple weeks prior, so I knew I wasn't going to go through the, the rehab uh, alone. Um, obviously, I knew I didn't feel like I was ready yet to play at this level, so Knowing that I get a whole year to kind of develop my body and, and watch the game of basketball, I think it was big and, and I'm appreciative of it. Riller came back from his injury with a vengeance. Grant was named to the all CAA rookie team and helped the Cougars make it to the NIT. As a part of the three-headed monster alongside Cheely and Jarrell Brantley, Riller helped lead the Cougars to the CAA title and their first NCAA tournament appearance in 19 years and along the way became the fastest player in program history to reach 1,000 points. His junior year, although missing out on a CAA title, he was again named to both the All-CAA First Team and Lou Henson Mid-Major America Team for the second year in a row. Riller has climbed up the Charleston record books with the chance to be the career leading scorer and will finish near the top of the conference scoring record book as well. It'll mean a lot to me definitely later on down the road. Right now it's kind of hard to put it in perspective, but uh, I'm just lucky to be in this situation. Uh, there's been so many great players that have played at CFC and in the CAA, so just to have my name up with them kind of means a lot. Riller has done it all while maintaining a low-key profile on and off the court, one his head coach says serves him well. You know, uh, for the most part, kind of laid back, kind of quiet. Um, almost like a possum, you know, just kind of, you think he's, whether it's off the court or on the court, you think he's kind of slow, you think he's dead, and then he pounces, and then he bites you. And so, uh, but laid back, you know, uh, to himself, but really good with his teammates. And while most people have to wait till they retire to have a jersey hung in the rafters, Riller became the first player from Okoe High School to get his number retired on December 4th. To Riller, this may just be his biggest honor so far. It means a lot because uh, during my high school run, uh, I had the opportunity to, to transfer to some top tier schools, uh, so they say around the area, but um, I made it a priority to stay in my hometown, to, to play with my friends and, and kind of do it the homegrown route and it worked out and luckily my coach that I played for, he went to a different school, but the new coach they have, me and him got a good relationship. Uh, he brought the idea to me, and I'm just so thankful for him and, and the school for allowing me to be the first. That homegrown, hardworking family mentality is what makes Riller such a special talent and such an integral part of this Cougars team, especially this year. Riller's redshirt senior season marks the first time he's played without the likes of Cheely or Brantley on the team. 
he's had to take a, a bigger leadership role this year because that's where he is in the program now. You know, uh, before he didn't have to always be the voice, uh, but now the young players look to him for advice. They look to him uh, when things maybe get tough in a game or in practice. They want to see how he responds. So it's so important for him uh, to try to lead by example and, and be that positive voice when them young guys are looking to him. And he's done a great job of it. Uh, I think early on this season, uh, he had to adapt to it, but he's really done a great job of trying to be a, a good leader. I guess you could say I got a lot more on my back in a sense, but at the same time, uh, I'm having just as much fun as I had this year as any other year. I love my teammates, I love my coaches. Uh, I love coming into the arena every day, so I'm definitely cherishing it this last year. With just a few months left of college basketball left to play and possibly the NBA draft in his horizon, Riller hopes to be remembered for more than just the numbers he's accumulated. Outside of basketball, I don't really care about too much of a, being a basketball player, but just a genuine person, uh, some guy that works hard on and off the court, some guy that uh, is humble, It's nice to all the people around here, and that's kind of what I want them to remember me for. And once his playing days for the Cougars are over, there's really just one thing Grant Riller wants. I haven't thought about it too much, but I know I want to continue to play basketball, regardless of the level, and if I'm able to do that, I'll be happy.